guys, welcome back to PHT TV. So far in season two, we have unboxed the 6000s, the 8000s, the RF7s. We've unboxed some subwoofers, some center channels, and every single one of these we have actually taken apart and shown you the internal components. You guys seem to really like this a lot, so we thought we'd bring back some old favorites and show you what the internal components look like on these guys as well. So welcome to what's in the box. Today we're gonna to start with the Heresy 4. I'm gonna pull out the low frequency, the high frequency, and the mid-range driver and show you what these guys look like inside. So let's go, let's see what's inside. Let's see what's in the box. All right, so we're gonna start high and go low. We're gonna start here with the high frequency driver. Now, for all of the components, for the high frequency, the mid-range, as well as the woofer, it uses a T25 Torx bit. So if you ever need to replace any of these components, that's what you'll be using. Now, it is a tight fit. So the magnet structure on the high frequency driver just barely, just barely fits through that hole. You can see it doesn't actually go. You actually have to put a tilt to it and put it in there as such. So you wanna make sure you be careful when you're doing that. On the back side here, we do have our locking spade clips. You wanna squeeze. Here we have the K107TI high frequency and horn combination. Let's set this off to the side and we will pull out the mid range here. And all right, now as we start to get to the last screw, on the horn, you gotta remember that the weight is gonna be on that magnet. So what you see is, as we pull out the screw, you're gonna see it start tilting forward because the weight of the magnet's gonna pull it upwards. So you wanna hold it in like this, or if you have the high frequency out, you can actually reach in and grab it like that. But in the event that you don't, you just sit there and hold it just with one hand and unscrew with the other. And again, it's gonna be a very tight spot for such a big magnet. Now, as you can see, we actually have to unscrew the horn from the driver in order to get it out from the assembly. So this goes just like this. Here we have the K702 mid-range driver. And here is the mid-range horn. As you can see, the top and the bottom are different because it does have the cutout for the low frequency driver. And with that out of the box, let's move forward onto our woofer. Now again, you're gonna wanna be pretty careful with the woofer and make sure that you take out this bottom screw last. Now, I always say use a screwdriver and in every single one of these videos, I use a screwdriver. But that said, on the Heritage, it's not quite as necessary. It is still possible to cause damage with a drill, but with these being nuts and bolts as opposed to wood screws, you're a little bit less likely to damage the product using a drill. Now again, you're gonna wanna be pretty careful with the woofer and make sure that you take out this bottom screw last. And the reason for that being is the weight of that magnet, similar to the mid-range driver. What's gonna wanna happen is once you get that last screw out, it's gonna wanna start tilting due to the weight of that magnet. Off our spade clamps. And here we have the K28E. K28E low frequency heresy driver. All right, so looking inside, here is our port, which is brand new to the Heresy 4. As you can see, you can see straight through to the carpet on the other side back there. If we lift up the foam, you can see the internal flare. 
and the matching flare on the back side here. Now this is one compartment, so you can see all the way to the top side from the bottom there. There's our hole for our high frequency, mid range, and our low frequency driver. We move to the inside here, you can see our network. Alright, so if we lift up the phone, we can see the input cup in the back there. And we can also see that if you were to biamp these, you have the high frequency right back here. It follows along and goes to the front here. So that is your high frequency input on the crossover network. And the high frequency goes to the high frequency driver as well as the mid range. And then you can follow the low frequency input to back here. So that is the low frequency input and output. All right, so let's get a nice close up of our drivers again. Here are the drivers of our Heresy 4. We have is the K28E low frequency driver. K702 mid range driver. Here's the mid range horn assembly. And here is the K107TI high frequency driver. All right, guys, I think that's about all we have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you again next week. We're going to take apart the Fortes and see what's inside. We'll see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV.